welcome to my channel. My name is Gene. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch today's video. If you're new here and you love handbags and other luxury items as much as I do, please help my channel out by subscribing and tapping that notification bell to be notified when I upload new content. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. So I'm jumping on the bandwagon. I got to talk about this Hermes lawsuit. Um, I watched Kathy Thorpe's video, Rakita did a video, Caleb Snell did a video, I think Wild Un Unfiltered did a video. I will link them below. They're YouTubers I love, so if you don't watch them, check out their channels. But really, what prompted me to do a video myself was the comments on all of their videos because it got my back up a little bit. Now, first thing I want to say is, of course, I am not an attorney. So, Everything I say is alleged and based on things other people have said or things I've read, and it's really for entertainment purposes only. But I think it is interesting, and quite frankly, I think it's BS, uh, these people uh, putting this lawsuit on Hermes. I don't like Hermes. Well, I love... <laughs> I love their bags. I love their products. They make beautiful stuff. So I love Hermes in that sense, but I don't like them as a brand and how they operate and the hoopla you have to go through to get a quota bag. But I understand why that's there. So I'm going to talk about that a little bit as well. I do have some notes here. I have tons of stuff swirling around in my head. So this is probably going to be a little all over the place. Um, but like I said, comments on those videos, I uh, most of the time was like, are you for real? So what this lawsuit alleges, and I'm reading from this article, is two plaintiffs who filed the suit in California claim they were coerced into purchasing ancillary products in order to obtain access to Hermes Birkin bags. So for those of you who don't know how this all works, um, Hermes has quota bags, the, the Birkin, the Constance, and the Kali. Uh, this lawsuit is particularly, I guess, um, on Birkin bags, but I've seen, and there's a lot of videos out there you can go watch if you want, YouTubers doing their <clears throat> Hermes journey videos. And really, I mean, I just never get it. Like, it's just a bag. We're talking about a handbag here. Like, is it really that serious or that extreme that if you're not able to get one of these, like you can't live your life? Um, but you can go and you search Hermes Journey and you can see what this all is about, but you have to be offered those three bags. You just can't go into the store and look at them and walk away with one of them. <coughs> Excuse me. You have to be offered one by a sales associate. And so people go on their Hermes journeys to build up purchase history with the brand, to show the brand that they love Hermes and they're loyal to the brand in hopes that they're gonna be offered one of these bags. And what happens when they're offered one of them, and this is based on things I've seen, you know, they tell their sales associate, you know, this is kind of my wish list, this is things I would like, things I were, was looking for, and then if something similar comes in, the person will get a notification to come in, do you want it, yes or no? Um, so a lot of times, if you just go and search for Hermes unboxings, a lot of times you will see YouTubers unbox their quota bag and they'll talk about how it wasn't exactly what they wanted. It's sure, it was a Kelly and they wanted a Kelly, but they wanted it in a different leather, different color, different size, different hardware, but they got offered this one. and. Oftentimes, almost all of the time, they all say the same thing. Oh, I actually like this better. Maybe, but most likely probably not. And I've experienced this and I think it's human nature. You have your heart set on something and you can't quite get that something, but you get something close to it and you convince yourself that it's actually better than what you originally wanted. And I did that. Um, in 2021, I was mad obsessed over the Reeve Gauche tote bag. I'll try to remember to put a picture up over here. Um, and then I was going to Paris and I thought, oh God, this is going to be my first luxury bag. I'm going to buy it in the 30 Avenue Montaigne store. Oh, it's going to be a great experience. And I get there and this bag comes in a variety of different sizes, different colors. So there's lots of options. There was one, one option I wanted 
went in, they didn't have it. So I convinced myself, oh, this one actually makes more sense. Here's why. I like this one better. I got it, got home. And I was still thinking about the other one and ended up buying the other one. So you're, you're, you're getting offered a bag, but a lot of times it's not the exact bag you want. Um, so it just is, it's a really interesting process. And I quite frankly understand why they do it. These bags, none of, neither of the three of them would be as coveted or as popular if they weren't as hard to get. It's human nature. Ha ha, I have a Birkin and you don't. That kind of thing. So if anyone could just walk in and get these bags, their popularity is going to go down. How, how coveted they are is going to go down and their resale value is going to go down. Like you could walk in and if you're offered one of these bags, buy it and sell it the next day for more than you paid for it because they really have a big bump up in value on the resale market. Um, see, now I've lost where I was going with this. Um, but okay, back to I understand why they do this. So it's kind of good marketing. Like you want to have the hottest item. You want to have the most coveted item. You want people to be crazy mad over that item. And if you mass produce it, well, that kind of goes away. That exclusivity, that hard to get, that, oh God, I want this so bad. Yes, I'm willing Hermes to give you $20,000 for the bag. I didn't, wasn't my first choice. So they really like, this is a good marketing on Hermes's part in my opinion. Now, um, in terms of people, and, and this is where I saw in the comments, like lots of people talking about being forced to buy other Hermes items that you don't want or need just so you could potentially get a bag you might want. Well, if you're spending tens of thousands of stuff on, on expense, ten, spending tens of thousands of dollars on things you don't want or don't need, well, quite frankly, that's stupid. Like it is a bag. Like I want to keep saying that. We are talking about a handbag here. And if you have enough resources where you can walk into Hermes and pay for one of these bags if you're offered them, then aren't you pretty fortunate right now? Shouldn't you STF you and enjoy your life? I mean, that's kind of how I feel about it. Like no one, whether or not, and, and I've seen in videos that, that people insist like they've never been told they have to spend money on other things in order to get offered a bag. But even if a sales associate says you have to buy $40,000 worth of stuff to buy this $20,000 bag, still no one's making you do it you're doing it. You're the one going in, going online and spending, spending, spending in hopes of getting a bag that might be close to what you really wanted. So this, this lawsuit to me is just BS. I hope it goes nowhere. I hope it fails because also you have to consider these aren't, like I said, mass produced bags. Lots of the luxury handbags are mass produced. And so I always get a chuckle and I do it too when I'm watching an unboxing and somebody gets all excited that it's oh, made in France or Spain or Italy. And I'm like, really? I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced most of it wasn't made in Eastern Europe or China and shipped to one of those countries for finishing touches. What I've read is EU law says only two parts of the manufacturing process have to happen in said country to slap that label on it. So you can make a bag in China, ship it to Italy, and you know they could put the handles on and the strap. And there's two, again, I'm not an expert on that, so maybe I'm wrong there. But to me, that's two part of the manufacturing process. The Hermes bags, as far as I understand, are not mass produced. So that allows them to be high quality. If we want to be able to walk into an Hermes boutique and have the shelves full of Birkins and Kellys and Constances, and we want these mass produced, well, then you're gonna run into the quality issues that you run in with these other luxury houses because they are mass produced. And when you're mass producing things, there is naturally less oversight on what's getting through quality control and getting on out to the shelves. And I've returned bags before a couple times and I know, well, they just 
freaking sold it to the next person. So you, you can't have it both ways. You can't have things not mass produced and um, have things mass produced and have them be really high quality, in my opinion, anyway. And with the pre-loved market flooded with these bags, you can get one and you can probably get one that is closer to what you actually want than if you got one in the boutique. Sure, you're gonna pay more, but you can get probably exactly what you want, one way or another. Um, so I, I really, I just, you know, I, I just don't understand this lawsuit. I don't understand why people go on Hermes journeys. Um, I also will say one thing, like how are they supposed to sell these bags? How are they supposed to determine who gets them since there's a finite quantity of them? Um, like, I love Cassie Thorpe. Like, I mentioned her earlier. Like, let's say Cassie is buying stuff at Hermes that she actually wants, that she will actually use, and she spends $30,000 this year at Hermes buying non-bag stuff that she wants, loves, and will use. And I don't spend anything at Hermes, and we both go into a boutique same day next year, and we both want that $20,000 Birkin, well, she should get it. I mean, of course, they're going to give them to people that have proven themselves to be loyal customers. And in my opinion, that's how it should be um, because they, they've they shown the loyalty and the love of the brand. And that's really what it is. So, you know, I, I do wish these bags were more available. I understand how upsetting this is for people. Let's dial it back and really put things in perspective and understand how fortunate we are and then maybe a bag won't be that important. So I would love to know your thoughts um, below and thank you so much for watching.